This Rough Country 2.5 inch lift kit is for those of you that have a 1987 to 1995 YJ and are looking to add 2.5 inches of lift as well as refresh a lot of your suspension components. These are going to provide, of course, new lift leaf springs. So these are not only going to provide 2.5 inches of lift and also level out your Jeep, but if you have tired, sagging leaf springs on your YJ currently, these are, of course, going to be a brand new refresh part. This is also going to include a new set of shocks that are going to be for your new taller ride height, but also again, refresh some probably worn out components. And this is also going to come with all of the hardware that you're going to need to get everything bolted together. Now, Rough Country is known for making a budget friendly lift kit. This is still going to work very well. It's going to include all the components that you need, but it is going to be a little bit less expensive than some of the other kits out there. As far as the components included, as I said, leaf springs, you're gonna get your new shocks, you're gonna get all your hardware, including new U-bolts, everything you need to get this installed on your Jeep and get your Jeep rolling down the road. Again, these are going to be a nice, comfortable riding leaf spring while still providing good handling on-road and good off-road articulation and suspension flex. The shocks that are included with this kit are going to be Rough Country's N2.0 Nitro shocks. So a nitrogen charged shock has that nitrogen charge there to eliminate any foaming, bubbling, or cavitation of the shock fluid. So you're gonna be able to work this shock a lot harder over a long period of time without it fading or not working quite as well than you would with a hydraulic shock. Now, the only downside to that, if you wanna call it that, is in general a nitro shock because it has that nitrogen charge inside of it will ride a little bit stiffer than a hydraulic shock. So there's always that little bit of a trade-off. These are going to give you a nice, uh, comfortable ride on-road and off-road, and they're going to help to eliminate some body roll because they are a little bit of a stiffer shock. As far as the installation of this lift kit goes, I'm gonna give it a two out of three wrenches. It is going to be a pretty simple bolt-on installation, no need to cut drill well, do any of that stuff, except of course, if you're fighting through some rust. However, there is a good bit of disassembly of your Jeep necessary to get this done. So this is going to be for those of you that are comfortable with that level of work. If you're not, you can always take your Jeep to a shop and have them install it. Now, the first step in this install is really going to be jacking up the Jeep, supporting it by the frame, and then going ahead and letting the axles droop down so that there is essentially no weight on your leaf springs. In order to do that, you're also going to want to remove at least one side of the shocks at this time. You're probably going to want to also remove um, any sway bar end links in order to let the uh, springs completely relax. Once they're relaxed, you can unbolt the factory U-bolts. So you can unbolt the springs themselves, remove them from underneath the Jeep, and install your new springs in their location using all of your new hardware. Once the springs are in place, you'll go ahead and swap out the shocks with the new ones that are included in this kit, and you're done. Now, this is a process that could take three hours or more, depending on how rusty your Jeep is and depending on what tools you have at your disposal. You can certainly do this with a jack and jack stands in your driveway with just some hand tools, probably everything you have in your toolbox. But if you have access to a lift, air tools, power tools, it will speed along the process. Now, even the newest YJ is an older vehicle, and especially if you live in the Rust Belt where we live, you are going to want to spray all of your hardware with a good penetrating oil well before you get started. That is going to pay dividends and speed up the install a whole lot. So this kit's gonna run you right around $500, which is a little bit less expensive than some of the other ones on the market. As I said before, that's just what Rough Country is known for, making a quality but budget-friendly lift kit. Now, some of the other more expensive kits on the market may have a few more features, a couple of additional parts. However, if you are looking for a budget-friendly kit, this is going to be a really nice option, and I do think it's going to be worth the price tag. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly lift kit for your YJ, I would definitely recommend taking a look at this one from Rough Country that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.